Hi everyone, Mike with Newfound Pass to this week's haul video. Uh, we were very, very picky, even beyond the step that we were being picky. We went to our normal three thrift stores and uh, we still got a decent amount of stuff. I figured one of these times it had to crash because we've had such good hauls, but it was okay. So I'm gonna jump in. We got this big sealed, brand new in the box. Uh, Department 56, all around the park, village animated accessory. Uh, Christmas at this store was 70% off and you see this is marked $64.99 let's hope you can see that <laughs> uh, so that puts us what about 15 bucks or so no 20 bucks about 20 bucks for this um, of course it's not the season for this stuff but we think we can get about 100 bucks for this and I've talked about this before you know I don't believe in seasons anyway because just Yesterday, I sold a big Christmas item for really good money. So, sent it out today. You buy your Christmas stuff, especially now's the season to buy this stuff. So, okay, next up we have these. My wife picked up these hand etched wood screens. And there's actually two of them in here. They have them both taped together. And we got both of these for $5. Turn it around here. These are heavy. Got both of those for $5. I don't know if you can see the grease pencil, but it's right there. Um, she thinks we could get 40 bucks each for these screens, so for two for 80 bucks or so. So, yeah, really nice find. Okay, make sure there's no fall. <laughs> Next up, we have this uh, December Diamonds peppermint display, like a, a mermaid deal. Like I said, 70% off, so eight bucks or so on this, and this. We'll sell for about a hundred bucks as well. This is brand new in a kind of a shelf worn box, which I am not afraid of at all. So yeah, nice, nice pickup. Nice that Christmas stuff, 70% 70, 70 off. So that was really good. Okay, I picked up a few sealed DVDs. You know, I like sealed DVDs, 50% off. Uh, My name is Earl for a buck. Uh, Sleeping Beauty for two bucks. See, all these are new, brand new. Arrested Development for a dollar. Tommy Boy for a buck. Never, never have too many Tommy Boys. Master and Commander for a buck. Uh, Schindler's List for two dollars. Good movie. And Elf for two dollars. Probably gonna keep that. We watch it every year, and you know the DVD is always better because it doesn't have commercials. My oh, wife picked up this awesome Imperial Teak thingamajig. <laughs> I called it a paddle. It reminded me of the panel, you know, but it has the, uh, I don't know, some condiment things and whatever they are. Got that for a dollar fifty though. We always pick up this teak stuff. I mean, it's not super fast, but it sells really well. You know, I wouldn't doubt. I'm just guessing here, uh, thirty to forty dollars for this thing. Maybe high, but we price high. So, okay. I picked up this brand new in the phone in the box. Uh, J Win phone. It has the big numbers on it for five dollars. Uh, old technology does well. I pick up phones all the time. Uh, do real well on them. This will sell for in, in between 30 and 40 bucks. So, good stuff. This one's weird. Um, this is a expandable wire base wiglet. Vintage. 100% human hair. Yeah. But picked it up for $2.50. And these things sell. Uh, 25 or 35 dollars she said between that range so this is vintage you can tell by the, the uh, case it's in this is the iris version so yeah weird stuff but we I told you we'll sell anything we can make money on that's legal I got a this Rawlings glove is like new um, not a big big uh, money maker on this one but this is a Rawlings zero shock this is for right hand throw so left-handed this is a RBG 36 BTN 12 and a half inch. Uh, picked this up for, uh, got about 30% off that, so just over two bucks on that. And this will sell for $30, $35. But yeah, I'll buy those all day. Okay, whoops. I got this for myself. This is like a digital, a little, I mean, a diving pack stuff in it. But yeah, pick up stuff for ourselves, you know, like a buck. We actually did go to Goodwill. We normally don't go to Goodwill, so we actually went to four thrift stores. I lied earlier. Uh -huh. um, I had to meet somebody, and we had like 30 minutes to kill. 
So we went, went to Goodwill and we got a few things. Uh, we picked up this Longa Burger Virginia Tech lid for, we got 10% off, so 90 cents. And our area, Goodwill's, if you use a Capital One card, you get 10% off. So uh, blue was their color, which was 50% off, but um, yeah, that was purple. So 90 cents. I don't even know how much this will sell for, but 90 cents. Longa Burger. Uh, I always pick up new and package MP3 players, and this isn't a great brand or anything, but this is a Philips 4 gigabyte it, with the headphones included, brand new in the package. Picked that up for just over $5 with our discount. Uh, no comps on the exact one, but I imagine it's going to be in the $30 to $40 range for that. A, um, we picked that we find the. <laughs> We don't really find these. People get buy these and hang on to them. So I was surprised when I saw this at Goodwill. This is a, the White House Historical Association ornament for Christmas 2014. Uh, picked this up for $3.50 or so after a discount. And uh, this is trains. So um, these sell for $30 to $40 and when you can find them. But usually you can't find these even in this area. So it was a nice little find. My wife found this, this was awesome, this Ringer Amplifier by Crone, and this was blue, $2.50, half off, and these things sell between $35 and $40, brand new, so, nice. Okay, I picked up this, this is new in a shelf-worn box, which is usually the way I find toys. Um, this is a special edition Rescue Heroes by Fisher Price. Um, got this for about 30% off, so just under 10 bucks. The last one of these that sold was about $50, $55 or so, and that's probably what I'll go for even with the shelf one box. So, good stuff. Well, this was an awesome find as well. My wife found this as well. Um, this is brand new in the box, even though she couldn't, we couldn't tell at the time until we opened it. This is an Olympus uh, transcription kit, AS-2300. And we got this for, it's on here somewhere, I swear. There it is. Got this for four bucks. Um, I opened this and it's brand new. It has never been used. You can tell the original wraps are on it. The manuals are perfect. Um, so this is probably be a hundred dollar item or above. So yeah, that was an awesome find. Love those hundred dollar finds. If we could just get hundred dollar finds, we would. <laughs> but we can't. Uh, a brand I've talked about before, and my wife said as soon as she saw it, she just grabbed it, threw it in the cart, kept on going. This Crab Tree and Evelyn Summer Heal Hydrating Body Mist. Picked this up for, yeah, it was 30% off, so two seventy or so. These things sell for, I'm, I'm trying to rack my brain, but I'm pretty sure I comp this and it's about 40 bucks or so. Uh, you can't really go wrong with this Crabtree and Evelyn stuff. It's very high-end. It's carried in high-end hotels. So, uh, yeah, look out for that stuff. Got a coffee mug. I think we only got one coffee mug because we're being picky. Uh, this Cracker Barrel regular coffee. Yeah, just Cracker Barrel regular coffee mug. Two-sided. I uh, got this at Goodwill for 90 cents or so. 10% off, so. Uh, I'm thinking wife comp this said $25 or so. Okay, we got, well, I picked this up at Goodwill. Um, just caught my eye and my wife has trained me. <laughs> this is a uh, maiden, pan made in Poland. And I'm not going to try to pronounce this word. It's a Polish word. Well, maybe I will. Bolasowicki? Bo <laughs> Never mind. Let me show you. But, uh, Pretty high-end brand, uh, paid, you know, 270 and change for that. And these things sell for about 35 to $45 in this style. There's several different variations, but uh, when you find these things, always take your finger, your finger, run across the edge, of course. That's the common one, but also take your fingernail. If you don't have any, grow one. And run your fingernail across the inside. Both ways. What you're trying to do is see if there's any hairline cracks in there. And you'll catch it if there are. Can't tell you how many times that saved us, but uh, yeah, nice little pickup. Okay, this I don't know what it'll bring. This is vintage tech. 
This is a uh, Cooler Master Hyper 48, new in the package. Uh, these are so old, there's no comps for them. But this was only four bucks. And uh, I know how nostalgic people can get over old tech. Maybe someone wants to build them, you know, a computer like they used to have back in the day and needs this part because this is from 2005. Marked right there. So I don't know what I'll price this at. I'll probably price it high just because that's what I do and just see what it brings. But uh, yeah, I have no idea what this will bring. If anybody knows, if you sold one, let me know. It's really cool though. It has all the copper. So cool stuff. Found a, I rarely find these anymore. When I do find them, they're usually priced really high. I think the thrift store's caught on, but uh, a 10 pack of Sony HF normal bias 60 cassette tapes, brand new in the package for a buck 25. I find them for that price, I'm buying them every time. So I don't know what they bring because I just threw it in the cart and kept on going once I saw the price. So the mm -hmm. price fluctuates on those greatly. Got this new in the package. This is an extra large replacement flap for a doggy door. And got this for about a buck eighty at Goodwill. And these sell for thirty, thirty-five dollars. Sold. So good stuff. Another bag of stuff. Uh, I think the one that was worth some money in this bag was this blue bottle. This is a uh, Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Lavender Vanilla Vanilla Volumizing Conditioner. Got this whole bag for about four dollars and fifty cents. I think that one bottle will sell for about forty bucks. So, if we could have found the shampoo with it, it'd been even better. But uh, that's the way it goes in the thrift store. Got this mini mate. It's a little baby cooler, brand new. Still got the sticker on it, and inside, open it up, and it just pristine, new. Uh, my wife found this and we paid three dollars for this and uh, these comp for 25 30 dollars or so so nice little pickup there this i have no idea none zero zilch none got this at goodwill and this is called the my pal by destron it is the pal 100 and this thing was brand new i opened it up and brand new got this for about four dollars and fifty cents and like I said vintage tech I'm kind of a sucker for um, even Google searching nothing zero so uh, I have no idea but it says this thing is uh, an alarm clock message center scheduler banking checkbook minder all kinds of stuff on here so yeah I don't know it seems pretty neat so you know at four dollars and fifty cents it's low risk could be a hundred bucks could be more I don't know Tell me what you think of this price for that one at too, because I need help. We bought this for our puppies. This is a cooling mat, and we paid you know seven and change for it. But these are twenty five dollars new, and uh, our dogs love these things. But you know they get torn up and nasty and dirty, so we buy these when we find them. It'll be good for the summertime. Hmm. Oh, I got here some dead in here. This was kind of neat. I picked up the Sony, you know, it's walk, Walkman size. I paid a dollar fifty for this, but it didn't say Walkman on it. I'm like, oh, that's weird. It's because it's a full size cassette tape voice recorder. Usually these are micro cassette tapes, but this is a full size cassette tape uh, recorder. And I'm just hoping this works. You know, I had no way to test it. The battery compartment looked clean. Uh, no headphones, but I have some of those because <laughs> I stockpile that kind of stuff. And um, if this works, uh, $45 or so. so. Pretty cool. Pretty nice find. And I would pair that if it works with some blank cassettes that I have, not the 10 pack, but I have some singles. You know, so let's save that little guy over there. It's got a little guy hanging out over there. We'll save that one. It's a nice thing. Got this Carmelo Anthony Denver Nuggets uh, jersey. This is only two bucks. And it's funny, this is hanging on the end of the rack. And we were in the checkout line and I asked my wife, I'm like, go see if that says Anthony on the back. And she said, it did. <laughs> so, so we picked this up because picked this up for a couple reasons. It's sewn letters. So it's high quality. And this is uh, when Adidas was with the NBA. It's a hardwood classics by Adidas. So, I mean, it's not huge money by any stretch, but it's, it's okay. I think I didn't even comp it. So it'll be okay. 
picked up this adult size uh, Elf the Movie onesie. You know, like with Will Ferrell. This is brand new with the tags. Does it fit me? <laughs> I think it's a little bit too big. Uh, this is a 3XL awesome size, and they've got this for five dollars. Um, no real good comps on this. I think they just sold these at Target or Walmart or something. It's not like it's a super high-end brand, but uh, it's just a little kitschy enough that I think it'll do okay. Probably 30 bucks or so. Oh, this is awesome. This is, I think, this is the only jacket coat I bought the whole time. This is leather, which is not a huge market for leather, but this is a Mark New York, Andrew Mark New York, double extra large leather jacket, brand new with the tags. Paid 25 bucks for this. And I've sold used ones like this for 75. So I think this new one, uh, 100, 100 and a quarter at the minimum. Uh, still has the Nordstrom's tag on it. So no price though. So all I know is it's a really nice one. Okay. Well, shout out to the Parrothead Picker. He loves these Callaway up to dries. There's one right here. Brand new with the tags. Woo uh, picked it. it. It is embroidered on here, but that's not a big deal. It's the Vernon Carey Foundation Golf Tournament. Uh, not a big deal at all. Being brand new in Callaway. Trying to find the price tag on this thing. There it is. Green and orange are half off, so this was two dollars and fifty cents. Good stuff. And that should do, you know, thirty, thirty-five dollars or so. Two more clothing items, and then the last hard goods. The Mogwai. <laughs> this is a uh, Notre Dame Coliseum vest. Got the Notre Dame embroidered on the front, and the the leprechaun on the back. Brand new with the tags. Again, being super picky with clothes. Usually brand new stuff. And this was six bucks. This was there last week and I passed on it. And this week it was half off, so I got it. And that should sell for 30 to 40 bucks. And we got a pair of uh, jeans, brand new with the tags. This is the Jeep, Jeep brand, like the vehicle. Um, I, I haven't researched this in a while. Last time I sold a Jeep brand thing, these weren't a US market thing. These were a European market thing. But the last time I had this kind of stuff, it sold really well too. Got these for about 30% off, so seven bucks. So it'll be fine on those. I'm, I don't know exactly, but 30 to 50, somewhere in that range. All right, last item. It's a good one. Remember, I don't know, two weeks ago in the haul video, I talked about the gizmo steamer, the iron that my wife got for herself and they didn't sell for that much, but I said, Look out for the can openers. Can opener. This is a Black & Decker Gizmo can opener. And we picked this up for $6 and change. And um, this box is wrecked, but the can opener is new. Let me show you. I don't know what happened to this box, if it got wrecked in the thrift store or it came in that way, but Here's the little, the cutting head, brand new in the package. That's important. Uh, no instructions, but that's okay. And here's the, the AC adapter, still in its cardboard. And the, the uh, base unit, this little piece right here comes out of there. That's the actual can opener part. And this is just the base unit that you mount, that you click it into. So it has to need all those pieces, the cutting head, the gizmo itself and the base unit with the power cord and it's all brand new so what does that sell for well it's being wrecked in the box so it's a new open box uh if it was brand new in the sealed box i think it'd be 125 dollars. yeah so i want to always shoot high on these things i think i'm going to charge try to get about 89 dollars for that so six and change 89 dollars. good stuff so that's it guys that is our concentrated haul but still really good stuff i think we did well so we hit four thrift stores fib, fib to you but uh thanks to all the new subscribers coming in 
all of our you know veteran subscribers i'm starting to call you guys you guys are veterans just like us veteran subscribers uh our patrons you guys are awesome appreciate that um did not go live today but i think i will go live on wednesday and this video will be live on tuesday per usual but thanks if you have any questions comments just let me know of course i will answer i appreciate it and we will see you guys on friday with our what sold video thanks